What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back in more diecast, and today we're going to be looking at what I believe is the last 2023 premium release of the Fast and the Furious Hot Wheels line. So this is a five car set just like they normally are. Um, it has some new releases to the line and some new castings or a new casting. So I'm excited to bust this one open, so let's get into it. All right, it's been quite a year for Fast and the Furious cars from Hot Wheels. We've got a ton of new basic castings or like the silver line as they're calling it for 2024, like the mainline plus, like the Walmart exclusive line, and they're still going pretty heavy on the premium set. So um, this set is no different. There's some new castings, new releases, and some fantasy ones. So we'll take a look at them and then bust them open. So here is one of five, the Toyota Supra. So this is in the R34 livery from Too Fast, Too Furious. They did the same thing with the R34 in the Supra livery, so now they're just basically swapping places. We'll take a look at that and see which one is cooler. Next up, we have the Defender 110. Um, this casting has been released before in the Fast and Furious line, but not in this paint scheme. I believe this paint scheme is from, what is it, Fast 8? Um, I can't even remember all the names of the different ones because they've, they've changed up the names so many times. We'll bust that one open and take a look at it. Again, we have the 70 Chevy SS. So this is the third time this particular casting has been released. The third time straight in three years. Do I think it warrants three different releases? Uh, in my opinion, no. But we'll take a look at it and see how it lines up to the other ones. The new casting in the line, the 1995 BMW M5. Um, this looks awesome. I like this casting. It's cool because um, cars like this and even the Nova, like they look good even if you're not a Fast and Furious collector. And this casting is probably going to be pretty popular. Um, it looks good. It doesn't have any goofy tampos or racing graphics or anything like that. So we'll take a look at that one. And then lastly, oh, we just had a collision. The Lamborghini Gallardo LP 574 Super Legera. So this is um, a new one to the line. This is from Fast X, I believe the newest one. Uh, this was Roman's car in one of the chase scenes. It's like a chrome gold color. So it almost looks like Spectra Flame a little bit, which is, you don't see too many of those type of painted cars in this line or in just in the Hot Wheels lineup in general retail wise. So that'll be a cool one um, to open as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here we have the Supra. Well, let me show you the back of the car just in case. So that's what it looks like. There's the barcode for anyone that wants to scan it. Um, this one has been by far the hardest one to find in this line. I found all the cars almost at one store, um, and then it took me several uh, trips or hunting trips to uh, find the Supra here. So I think, I mean, really anything going back to the first and second movie are pretty popular, but then also like the Supra and the R34 are two really hyped castings in the line. So I'm not surprised that even though this is like a fantasy take on uh, Fast and Furious car that it's been hard to find. So um, overall, we don't have really anything to compare this to. Um, it's a good looking casting. Uh, it, I don't know I'm not really a fan of these like fake Fast and Furious cars because there's so many cars that they could give us that were are real and from the movie. Um, so they don't need to make up cars. I mean, they do a good enough job just like doing the filler cars like the Land Rover, the BMW. They don't really need to give it to us, but uh, I don't know. It's It's been pretty popular. Let me know in the comments what you think of both this and the R34, like the swap paint jobs, because I don't like... I don't necessarily need them as a collector. Like, they're they're kind of cool, I guess. But I'd rather, again, I'd rather have a real car from the movie. Or, like, why are do we not have the orange Supra from the first movie just, like, in the premium line? Like, where has that single release car been? Like, that could have been this, but instead we got this, like, fantasy one. But if you're into these fantasy cars, I mean, the Tampo look good. They're very clear. The taillights look good. Uh, it has a very similar paint job to the R34 and Too Fast, Too Furious, which is cool. I mean, if you're into it, this is going to be awesome. If you're not, you're probably going to pass it up. But as a release, the headlights look good. The wheels look good. I mean, it's not a bad release. It's probably going to roll really well because those wheels are nice. And it does. So um, this is probably the biggest. Uh, this and the R34 are probably the two biggest like um, conversation cars that have happened in Hot Wheels this past year of whether people like them or not, whether they love it, whether they want more of these, because they also did a very similar thing with the Fast Rewind um, premium set where they did like just the throwback of all these new cars. So like this, I don't think this paint job was on one of them because uh, the Skyline was, I believe, the yellow one. So it was like they took a bunch of 
newer paint jobs and put them on older castings that never existed in the movies just like these um but we'll see i don't know let me know in the comments what you think of those so Next up, the Land Rover Defender 110. So this has been released in the line before this casting, but this particular release is new, like this paint scheme. So this would be, like I said, this is Fast. I believe it's Fast 8, which was the fate of the Furious, if I'm remembering right. Um, this was one of the trucks in the ice scene where they're chasing the submarine. And you can tell that because the logo on the door. I went back because it was kind of hard to find but the a lot of the cars had that similar logoing on the door, so that's what I'm guessing it's from, or like using my best deduction theory as to where it's from. If it's not from that, let me know in the comments below, but that's where I think it's from. So this is like an NPC car. It's a background car. It didn't really play like a huge role in the movie other than just being there for that chase scene. Um, if you're into Land Rovers, this is probably a good casting to pick up. The Tampos are decent, like the Land Rover Tampo. These are the graphic, like the pixelated ones. As you can see, it's not actually painted. It's just like a blob of pixels. So this one, probably going to be a peg warmer, is my guess. Just because it it doesn't really, like with those Tampos like that, it doesn't really look that good. And it's not a standout car from the movie. And we've gotten it before, so it's got a lot of things going against it. But if you're a Land Rover fan, it's decent. I mean, it looks good. The army color looks good on it, like the green. The wheels are good. It rolls nice. So, um, I don't know. If you're if you're a fan of these castings, this is definitely one to pick up. I've never tried to take the top off. I don't think you can. It, but the gaps in it, like you can see light and space through it, so... I don't know. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. Again, this is like a filler car in the line. They could have picked something much cooler to go in the line or just to add to the Fast and the Furious lineup in general. So the 70 Chevy Nova SS, this is from Fast 9, I believe. I think so. It's so hard to keep track. I don't know. Are you guys also having trouble keeping track of what cars are from what movies, especially the later ones that have like F9, Fast 8, like they're not even named the same. So this is, I believe this was Letty's car in the movie during the chase scene, um, one of the bigger chase scenes, but this has been released now three times. So the first one had the same wheels, like the um, like kind of like torque thrust looking American Racing wheels on it. So let's go ahead and look at it compared to the very first release. I really don't see anything. I about to say the grill, which one is the new one? I think this is the new one right yeah this, the grill on this one looks much better like the chevy logo is much clearer here it's missing or not painted at all um the grill tampos look very similar it's got the blacked out uh, license plate light they have the same striping uh, very similar side marker lights there's not a big difference there um the back tampos i think the older one here looks better just graphically these look like too much printer tampos on those so i don't know uh, if you're going for one i would probably buy the first release this one just because i think the tampos look better yeah i don't like the tampos on the back but the front tampos look better i don't know let me know what you think which one you think looks better because the wheels are the same so that's really all that matters um and then the second release had these different wheels on it which uh, this actually rolls a lot better. This, the first release, does not roll very well. This one rolls better. So, I don't know. Probably, okay, I changed my mind on that. If you're going for one with, like, the torque thrust, like the five-spoke, which is the more realistic wheels to the movie, I would probably get this newest one. If you're not a fan of those wheels, uh, the second release would do you. But let's go ahead and look at that. In the second release, the, the graphics look a lot different. The headlights are not nearly as big as they should be. It almost looks like it's, like, looking at you it's really weird uh the back tampos again the past two i think have had better rear tampos i don't know why this new one looks worse but it does have the best front tampo so if i was going to go overall probably the best version of this car would be the new one which is good because we've talked about that in that how like the second one here is worse than the first one like it's less realistic because of the wheels it has worse tampos so we're going backwards here we're going forwards which is good so if you're going for one i would probably say the new one which is awesome 
All right, next up, the new casting to the line, the 91 BMW M5. So, oh, got a little dog hair on that one. Uh, this one, I haven't had trouble finding it. It's actually been at a lot of stores. So I would think this one is going to be um, hoarded and collected just because it's super clean. But for some reason, it has not been anywhere as hard to find as the Supra. So let's take a look at this one. Man, as a casting, it looks great. So it does have the like printer style tampos, but they don't look bad on the taillights on this one. Um, the M5 graphic looks a little pixelated. The trunk logo looks a little pixelated. Uh, let's see the front. The front doesn't look bad. I think on certain colors, like black being one of these, uh, the, the, the printer style tampos look better because they have like a, a more solid background. Um, still not a huge fan of them, but they don't look bad on this model. Like the, the grills don't look bad either. Overall, not a bad casting. I really like how it looks. I do like this car in real life. So that helps, you know, if you're a fan of the car it, you know, you're probably more likely to buy it, uh, 10 spoke wheels on it. So this one, I had to Google, like look up where this car was in the fast and the furious franchise. And I believe it is from the newest movie, Fast X, and it was one of the cars chasing uh, Dom in the Charger on the freeway before the helicopter scene. I believe that's where this is from. If I'm wrong on that one, definitely let me know because there a couple of these cars are used in multiple films or like they'll be like a small background or they'll be like in a parking garage or a lot or something. So I could be mistaken on that, but that's where I believe it's from. So this is like a background chase vehicle, probably equate it to the Land Rover, just like, you know, you see it, it blows up, it crashes, something like that. So it's a background car, but it looks awesome. And it probably got us this casting. So I'm not complaining about it too much. So, man, it looks good, though. I mean, even if you're just a BMW fan, it doesn't have any Fast and Furious markings on it. So it's a cool one to pick up either way. Man, really like that. So next up, the Gallardo LP574. So this was the chrome gold car in, I believe this was also Fast X, the newest one. Um, this was Roman's car. He's he's had probably the most colorful, like, loud cars just because that, like, fits his personality in the movie. He's always got, like, the wildest stuff. But um, this casting is okay. The problem with it is this is not the version of the Gallardo that was used in the movie. It was actually the earlier, like, what, 2003, 2004, um, like, flat nose car. It did not have the um, point to it. It was not a super legere car. Uh, it didn't have a lot of this, like, extra body cladding on it. So, um, while this casting isn't bad, while this release isn't bad, it's not correct to the movie, but I don't believe Hot Wheels has the correct casting for it in their casting library. So, they were probably trying to include it and use whatever casting they had available. I'm not a big fan of that. I like the correct castings to be used, um, but this one is not. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. But it, either way, the coloration on this casting looks good. I hate the vintage racing wheels. I don't like that. Um, I think in the movie it had more of a stock looking wheel on it or one that was not anywhere like a vintage racing Shelby wheel. So uh, again, Hot Wheels, like as a release this car isn't bad but accuracy to the movie is like a zero it basically just has the paint job that's it it's a lamborghini and it has the paint job so um if you're a lamborghini collector uh it's not a bad casting it's it's very um it will be very colorful in your collection let's see how it rolls it doesn't roll bad so um i wish they would be more accurate and give us more accurate cars to the movie like look how big that lamborghini logo is on the hood or the trunk or frunk or whatever you call it. I don't know. I, that's probably not accurate to the actual size of it. And it might actually be on the front, not on the hood. I don't know. Um, it does have blacked out taillights, which the one in the movie did have. It's got the Lamborghini logo. It's not bad. I don't like it. It's like a mid casting for me. It's probably like a five because it's a nice release. Uh, it doesn't look terrible, but it's not accurate to the movie. So it like gets a half score. So, uh, this one overall hasn't been this has probably been my least favorite release of the year just because we've gotten this car so many times um, this isn't accurate this is a make-believe one this is a mpc car and so is this but it's a new casting so like to me the winner of this is definitely the bmw the bmw looks great 
I picked up a few of them to keep in my collection because I really like it. The Supra is hoarded, but it's, you know, it's one of the fake ones. So it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts on this line in general or this release of these five cars, how it lines up to other releases throughout the year. If you like this Supra, if you like these kind of like crossover paint jobs, um, let me know that too, because it'll be interesting to see if they do any more of these. So they've really hit the two like the two big ones the more iconic cars um they've already got so it'll be interesting to see if they do more of those and which ones they are but yeah let me know your thoughts on this in the comments if you like this bmw as well i really appreciate you watching i'm sorry my voice kind of sounds a little funny i've been like i have i'm like have a cold or like allergies because it's awesome ohio weather keeps switching from like 30 to 60 and it's it's just wrecking my sinuses. So um, I appreciate you watching. I will have more Fast and Furious videos um, coming soon. I have a ton of stuff to upload here over the holidays and into the new year. So um, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.